It's been close to five years since the millionaires, Cornell's biggest hockey offering, left town for Chilliwack. For the first time since then, the city of Cornell is putting on hockey camps for kids and they're bringing in the best training possible from ex-NHL players to NHL trainers. They're calling this boot camp the Caribou Elite. All right, Graham. Hockey's uh, always been a big part of Cornell. I think it's a huge part of our uh, social network. It's a great sense of fraternity. There's a little bit of competition. Uh, it's great physical activity. And let's face it, it's Canada's game. It's just, I don't really like any other sports. I'm just, I like hockey better than all the other sports because my dad made a rink when I was three, I think. So I just got in, I went to play on the rink and then I got into hockey. It's fun and um, sometimes when I go, when I score a goal, I get to do stuff like a trick or something. Get it, get it. We're doing training, hockey training stuff with um, people. <laughs> I'm trying to learn some new things so I could get better and better at, at hockey. You're up for me though, okay? Chris and I uh, work a lot in Kamloops. Uh, we, we put on hockey schools, we coach junior hockey, do lots of stuff with hockey. We just, uh, both of us have a, a, a strong passion for it and want to pass it on to the kids. You know, I always loved doing it when I was playing and I, I retired in 2001 from my NHL career. But before that, as every summer I would go to Okanagan Hockey School and teach or I'd go to Campbell River where I grew up and teach. Um, it, it's something that I always really enjoyed doing. Pivot backwards through the tires, then forwards to the next one. The whole focus of the, uh, the, the Caribou tires. Elite, it doesn't necessarily mean have to be elite players. The focus is elite instruction. That okay. So we're bringing in some high quality people, like you say, uh, that you know all these other Okanagan camps, Salmon Art camps get. But we're getting it here in Quinell, so the elite is that piece. But you know, fun and skill development is what's happening here. Oh, good job. They're just nice. They do e kind of easy drills, and they do fun drills, so. I like it how they're trying to um, make it hard for us so we can learn much better. Some of the ones, especially the entry-level kids, uh, some of the skill sets that they picked up, some balance and puck control that they worked with the guys today with Chris and Ed. Um, you can see even at uh, the last session today and Thursday from the first session Monday morning, uh, there's been great improvements and lots of smiles and lots of sweaty heads coming off the ice, so I think that is important. When I was a kid, there's eight million people that gave back to their communities for me, and uh, we like to do the same and hopefully inspire a few kids. The small town kids have been the backbone of hockey in the NHL level for the last 80 years and there's no reason it should change. I go push, push, and then I get my hand up in the air. They're just great people. They're, they're great with the kids, always a smile on their face. The kids are loving them. Shoot quick. Woo! Everything can't be so serious all the time. So you see the kids having a blast, it, it makes you feel better. And you also learn a lot about who you are when you have to take a bunch of 10-year-olds and try and keep them focused for an hour and a half. <laughs> Excellent, go fast now. As a parent, uh, obviously the, the sport is, uh, consumes a fair amount of everybody's uh, disposable income. Again, I think we're very lucky for the cost that we have to have this uh, type of instruction here for our local kids. The next camp focuses on power skating and runs from August 31st to September 4th. But not, not too far. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Anand Chandy.